Welcome to a solution stoichiometry problem with Ms. Taylor. In this particular problem, we want to know how much of 2 molar phosphoric acid is required to neutralize 100 mils of 0.2 molar sodium hydroxide. Now, the first thing that should jump out at you is the word neutralize. When you see neutralize, that means this is an acid-base reaction. Okay, and in an acid-base reaction, hydrogen and hydroxide come together to make water. Now, the goal whenever you have a neutralization reaction is that the moles of hydrogen ion must equal the moles of hydroxide. Now, in this particular problem, we've been given the volume and concentration of our base, the source of hydroxide, so we can first figure out how many moles of hydroxide are there. Once we know the moles of hydroxide, knowing this, we know how many moles of hydrogen we need, and we'll go from there. So the first thing we need to do is convert milliliters to liters and say 0.100 liters of solution times, and remember molarity can be used as a stoic tool. Remember molarity is moles per liter. So you can read that as 0.2 moles per liter, or 0.2 moles of NaOH per liter of solution. Now we want liters to go away, so we're going to put the liters of solution on bottom and the moles on top. Now I'm going to carry this out a little bit farther and I'm sure that you know you may be able to see this but we don't just want to know moles of NaOH we want to know moles of hydroxide. Now there is a one-to-one -one ratio for your sodium hydroxide and your, hydro your hydroxide ion. So you can probably see that, but I'm writing this out so you can see where the different units go. Because if you had, um, let's say, calcium hydroxide, where you had two hydroxides per one mole, you would not get the same answer, and it would be very important where you use that setup. So your final answer for this plug it into the calculator should be 0.02 moles of hydroxide. So that means we need 0.02 moles of hydrogen. Okay. So to figure out how much of 0.2 molar phosphoric acid we're going to need, we're going to use another stoichiometry stoic all right so we're starting from moles of hydrogen ion all right the hydrogen ion comes from your phosphoric acid now note it's H3 PO4 so that means there's three moles of hydrogen ion per one mole of H3 PO4 And setting that up moves us to our actual thing. And then remember you can read this as being 0.2 moles of H3PO4 per one liter. So since we want moles on bottom, we're going to say 0.200 moles of H3PO4 per one liter of the H3PO4 solution. And when you plug this into your calculator, make sure you follow order of operations. So this is going to be 0.02 divided by, keep your bottom in parentheses, 3 times 0.2. Close those parentheses and then hit enter. And I'm going to round this to 3 sig figs. So 0 0.0333 moles excuse me, not moles, liters. That pen was not wanting to respond. Liters of H3PO4 solution. Now, 
Now, that's not a whole lot, so a lot of times if it's a small amount, we'll put it in milliliters just because that's easier to see. And you could say that that's 33.3 milliliters of the solution, which would be a little bit easier to understand and more practical in the actual lab situation. Thanks for watching.